everyone, my name is Rochelle and I'm a writer at Go Overseas and I also blog at Adventures Around Asia. So today we're going to be talking about the language phrases that you should know before studying abroad in China or just before going to China. Uh, so I'm currently in Beijing in my apartment sunroom, um, but I studied abroad in both Beijing and Xi'an and now I've been living in China for about three years. Uh, so today we're going to go over the phrases that you should know before coming to China and chances are if you're studying abroad in China, you've already taken some Chinese before. So we're going to go over some casual, colloquial, outside the classroom phrases that you'll need for your everyday life in China. So here we go. So the first need to know phrase that we're going to go over is nali nali, which literally means where, where. Now this is sort of an old style Chinese phrase, but people still use it. It's just a little less common now. And the way that you can use it is in response to compliments. So if someone says, oh, you're so beautiful, or oh, your Chinese is so good, and you've kind of been getting complimented a little too much and you feel a little awkward, you can say, oh, nali nali, like, where? Who are you talking about? Obviously not me. No, I'm not beautiful. Uh, so if, if you use this, chances are people will laugh. Um, it's sort of, I've had the few times I've used it, my friends say, where did you learn that? You know, because it's, it's not something that you'll learn in class. Uh, but it's a great way to sort of diffuse the awkward tension of getting complimented and, you know, sort of, sort of make the people around you laugh, show that you understand Chinese culture, um, and sort of show a little respect to the language. So yeah, if anyone says your Chinese is amazing, you just, oh, nolly, nolly. So the second important phrase is, ah, yeah. Uh, so Chinese people use this for anything. If they drop something, if they stub their toe, um, exclamation, surprise, whatever. So if you use sort of, ah, yeah, instead of, oh, um, a lot of times Chinese people think it's hilarious. <laughs> and it shows that you've been in China for a while. I mean, now I even start saying it. It's seeping in. So the third important phrase you should definitely know before moving to China, especially a big city like Beijing, is 接过一下, which means like, excuse me, let me through. <laughs> and it's a really polite way to kind of push people, um, yeah, 接过一下, like I'm, I'm coming through either on a subway, bus, through a crowded street, um, it's just sort of letting people know like, yeah, excuse me, get out of the way. Um, so the fourth phrase, um, definitely good to know, is 随便, which means whatever, whichever. So if someone asks for you where you want to eat or what you want to have for dinner, oh, 随便. Um, you know, what you want to drink, 随便. Uh, it just sort of means, yeah, whatever. So it's sort of letting the other person make the decision. Uh, so, so the fifth need to know phrase is Dendama, which means really? Uh, so this can be used for a variety of different things. If somebody tells you something that shocks you, oh, Dendama, um, you, know, you don't have class on Friday, oh, Dendama. Or um, like me, where you have constant construction and someone's tearing your roof off and you wake up at 6 a.m. to the noise, Dendama. You know, so it's, it's a really good phrase to know. Um, it can be used for a lot of different things. So try it out. So the sixth need to know phrase is buhaisa, which basically means embarrassing or sorry, excuse me. Um, usually in Chinese class you'll learn that duibuchi is I'm sorry, but actually buhaisa is much more common. Um, duibuchi is really, you know, I'm sorry. If you, you know, step on someone's foot or spill something on them. Buhaisa just kind of means excuse me. So if you're stopping in someone on the street to ask for directions, oh, buhaisa, we Or um, that means, excuse me, can I ask you something? Um, or, you know, sort of if you're pushing through, oh, buhaisa, you kind of bump into someone. Um, it's sort of like a lesser version of I'm sorry. It's more, it's more no, number seven is ni chifan lama, which means have you eaten? Um, so this is Chinese version of how are you doing? And I never quite knew how to answer this. Um, I wasn't sure if like if I said that I hadn't eaten, it meant I was not doing well. But no, it's just you you just answer. Have you eaten? Have you not? Oh, I just ate. Um, and it's basically it's the Chinese version of saying, hey, what's up? Or hey, how are you doing? It's not ni chifan lama, have, have you eaten? So number eight need to know phrase is ai, which means aunt. So I'm sure many of you know a lot of Chinese people use aunt, uncle, brother, sister uh, to describe 
the people in their lives. So, for example, if I'm walking down the street and there's a little tiny baby and I wave at the baby, hi, people will call me, oh, I.E., say hi to I.E., say hi to Auntie. Um, so that is one common phrase. So you might be a shoo-shoo, you might be a go-go or a dee, dee you know, like an uncle, brother, older brother, younger brother, <laughs> whatever. Um, it doesn't really matter. So any of those phrases are good to know. But I.E. is actually special because it's used for a few other things as well. For example, um, most maids are also called IE. So right now, uh, my apartment, we have an IE who comes in <laughs> and cleans twice a week, which is amazing. Um, you know, we have the office IEs as well. So uh, when you study abroad, the woman who cleans the dorm where you're staying, you'll probably end up calling her IE as well. So she'll be your aunt. So number nine and number ten, I'm going to kind of lump together. It's mamancher and manzo. Uh, which means eat slowly and go slowly. Uh, so let's start with man man which means eat slowly. Um, a lot of Chinese people will say this to you when you're eating, and I was kind of confused, like, why are you telling me to eat slowly? Like, I already eat really slowly compared to the average Chinese person. You know, so I wasn't, I wasn't quite sure what this one was about. And, and you'll hear man man or which is like, eat faster or sorry, eat more. <laughs> eat slower and eat more. So um, this one is, is just a polite phrase. Mamanchur is like, you know, take your time eating, eat as much as you want. Um, yeah, chur doi eat more. So a lot of times Chinese people will say this to you just being polite. It doesn't actually mean like you really need to eat more, you need to eat slower. It's just, you know, take your time, enjoy the food, eat more, eat more, you know, don't be polite, you know, eat as much as you want. Um, so you'll hear this a lot, especially if you get invited to someone's house for dinner. You'll hear it, everyone will be telling you this, and they'll be spooning food onto your plate. Um, so if you want to be respectful to your host, you know, I'm unsure, you know, or if you if you take a Chinese person out to dinner, you can say that as well. Uh, manzo actually also confused me at first because it means walk slowly or go slowly. So that was kind of confusing because the first time I heard it, it was it was pouring down rain and and our driver was telling us to walk slowly. So I thought he was saying, you know, be careful. But really, it's just sort of a polite sort of take care. Um, so you'll hear this all the time once you know what it means. So you'll be walking out of a restaurant, oh, manzo, um, you know, or out of your classroom building, the gate guard might say it to you. So that that just means take care, you know. <laughs> it's a polite, it's a polite uh, phrase, basically meaning, don't fall down. I don't know, go slowly. <laughs> so. Finally, our bonus word is bye bye. So basically, in Chinese class, I'm sure you'll have learned, zaijian is bye bye or goodbye. <laughs> I've been in China too long. Zaijian is goodbye. But a lot of Chinese people don't actually say zaijian. They say bye bye. So you have to say it twice, usually with a little wave. Um, so at first, I thought people were actually just saying bye bye to me because I'm a foreigner. Wow, why? <laughs> I'm foreign. So I thought they were just being nice and using English to say goodbye to me because they knew the word. But actually, Chinese people say it to each other, too. So um, it's the more casual, colloquial way to say goodbye in China, and it's sort of a bonus for you because that's one less word that you need to learn. So if you have any questions about anything that I went over today, be sure to leave a comment below um, and I'll get back to you. But otherwise, enjoy your time in China. I know I really enjoyed my study abroad experience to the point that I moved back here after graduation and I'm still here. So enjoy your trip. I'm sure you'll have a great time. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks. Bye-bye.